Peritoneal malignancy refers to cancers or tumours that have originated in and then spread within the abdominal cavity onto the peritoneum. And these cancers include appendix cancer, colon cancer, rectal cancer, gastric and ovarian cancers, and some very rare conditions such as Pseudomyxoma peritoneae or PMP, peritoneal mesothelioma and primary peritoneal cancer. The abdominal cavity is a large body cavity containing abdominal organs and these include the stomach, liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, the pancreas, the small bowel and then the large bowel which comprises the colon and rectum. The abdominal cavity contents and the abdominal wall are all covered by peritoneum. The peritoneum is a clear lining which covers both organs within the abdomen and the wall of the abdomen. It has two layers. One layer lines the abdominal wall and is called the parietal layer. The second layer covers the organs and is called the visceral layer. There is a small amount of fluid between the two layers which separates them and allows them to slide over each other. This fluid allows us to move around without causing any friction on the layers. Simply, if one imagines a room is like the inside of an abdominal cavity, the organs are the furniture and the peritoneum which covers both the organs and the abdominal wall is like lining or wallpaper. Cancers or tumours within the abdominal cavity can spread or metastasize in three ways. Metastasis refers to the process whereby cancer cells break free and travel and invade other parts of the body. So the three ways are, firstly, the lymphatic vessels to the lymph nodes. Secondly, via the blood vessels to other organs such as the liver or the lungs. And thirdly, is when cancers, such as bowel cancer for example, grows through the bowel wall and these cancer cells then spill and disseminate directly into the abdominal cavity, attaching themselves to the peritoneum and adjacent organs. These cancer cells can then continue to grow and spread. If peritoneal disease is left untreated, it is likely to grow and unfortunately is associated with shortened survival, poor quality of life and may lead to bowel obstruction, pain and accumulation of fluid with inside the abdominal cavity in advanced cases. It is difficult to detect the early spread of disease in the abdominal cavity and there are often no signs or symptoms. In some cases, however, patients may notice abdominal pain or swelling of the abdomen. However, in most cases, peritoneal disease spread is detected either on a CT scan of the abdomen or at the time of an operation. Others can complain of vague, non-specific symptoms. And when the extent of disease is more widespread, some patients complain of abdominal pain, bloating, and sometimes weight loss. Some present with symptoms suggestive of a bowel obstruction with abdominal pain, which is often des described as colicky, and this means comes and goes with waves of intensity, with associated nausea, vomiting, and constipation-type symptoms. Cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC, or heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, is now the accepted treatment of peritoneal disease for conditions mentioned previously in selected patients who are healthy and have good fitness levels and in which the disease in general is not too widespread. The most important factor is patient selection and establishing which patients may benefit from this treatment and this can be challenging and as such all patients are discussed in specialised MDT or multidisciplinary team meetings to determine which patients are likely to benefit the most from this surgical treatment. If patients are not felt to be suitable for this type of surgery, conventional treatments such as chemotherapy are recommended. Patients who are referred need extensive workup to establish and determine the extent of disease. Ideally, all patients should be referred to centres or units that have extensive experience in diagnosing and treating peritoneal malignancies. 
The two factors that will ultimately have the most impact on the outcome or survival is probably the origin of the primary tumour, the tumour type, and the extent of peritoneal disease in the abdomen. You may read or hear a variety of terms relating to peritoneal malignancy, including peritoneal carcinomatosis, peritoneal metastasis, peritoneal surface malignancy, and the terms benign and malignant tumours, all of which together can get a little confusing. A cancerous tumour or deposit on the surface of the peritoneum is referred to as a peritoneal surface malignancy. A metastasis is a spread of cancer cells to new areas of the body. Peritoneal metastasis means the presence of cancer deposits or cells on the surface of the peritoneum. Peritoneal carcinomatosis refers to tumours or cancers in the abdominal cavity that have spread and grown on the peritoneum. A tumour is a growth of abnormal cells or tissue and this can be either benign or malignant. Benign tumours grow locally and don't usually spread to other parts of the body and are therefore not considered cancerous or malignant. The term malignant means cancer cells that have spread or metastasized to other parts of the body or have invaded nearby structures. And this is mainly because malignant cells tend to have a fast and uncontrolled growth. Thank you.